what is up everybody and Illinois Outdoorsman and today I kind of want to show you I know I haven't been doing this very long but a basic fly tying video to kind of create this is a just a minnow that still needs trimmed up um, hopefully by the time this video is done just to get a little bit of marabou in there we can trim it up and show you what that one looks like finished um, right now the epoxy is drying so if you guys want to see how to tie one of those stay tuned all right you guys so you've stuck around through the intro so obviously we're going to be tying a God, this is horrible it's way overexposed um a streamer this is bucktail and flashaboo um, as you guys can see here, I've kind of got my materials all spread out, flash food, bucktails, multiple different colors. Um, first, we're going to start off with, this can be done with two style hooks. So this right here is a two-aught, one-aught, a one-aught, sorry, wide gap worm hook. This is a Bass Pro Magna Wide Super Lock, that's what this is. Or you can do this with a streamer hook. This one has the eye bent down, and this one is a VMC 9283BZ streamer hook. Um, I'm going to tie it on a wide gap hook. So we're going to lock that into our vise. So. Forgive me guys, this is probably gonna be a little brutal. I'll zoom in on the fly itself. And we're also going to be tying some lead eyes. Oh gosh. These are 1 60th of an ounce. So get some of those out. And then, let me just a second here guys and I will get you all zoomed in. I, uh, let me clear some of this table space off. All right, you guys, so I'm hoping you guys can see the hook we have right here, and hopefully, not my shorts. Um, got our little eye right here. We are using a GSP 200. This is waxed line. Then the other line I have, the thread I have, which is sitting off over here, I was actually breaking it a lot just it's a very delicate thing to tie a fly so let me get adjusted here that being said what we're going to do is we're going to start off and get a thread base on here and this you have a super short hook to work with you're just working this little area. All this is going to stay exposed. You're not going to thread on that. With a streamer hook, you have a lot more room to thread. So you can multi-layer. And these scissors are cheapies and they're already dull. Okay. So with that, this is going to block your guys' view. But I'm going to tie these eyes right here. Get over. Over over and I'm gonna come under and then over on the other side over 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 so I have an X pattern and then I can sit here and adjust them I haven't pulled anything tight yet so I can adjust them square them up to the hook um, I can hopefully you guys can see that they're now square to the hook I can slide them around as needed and get them where I want them to be. Get this locked back in. And now I'll pull tight. And I'll go back over to the same three. And this time these three are tight. Three. And now to secure that, we have our threads going over the eyes and an X. Now we're gonna go over the hook, under the eyes and go around and really suck that close to take that thread and wrap it under it and pull it really tight. So, we go under, over, under, over. Go every two, pull tight. Under, over, under, over. 
under, over, under, over. Pull tight and you can adjust it and you'll feel it as you get going. And it gets tighter and tighter. Every adjustment you make is physically going to be harder. And now those don't move at all. So this we're gonna do just a basic white streamer just like this one was. Um, right here, I have just a natural bucktail. I also have it a shed and olive green. And we're just gonna use the white from the underside. This one, I'm not too worried about length. Just going to cut off some. And what I have learned so far in tying flies is I did these, like this one with the eyes. It is so much bucktail, it actually floats and it floats sideways and I can't get it to sink. Um, whatever you go to pull off, you're only gonna need about half of that for each side. Going to just, I know this is plenty long enough, so I'm just gonna square my ends up. Flip this upside down. I do have a rotary vise. You can do it without a rotary vise. I just, you know what, I'm like, if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna get a decent one that I'm not gonna wanna replace in two weeks. So we're going to go over in front of the eyes and then I kind of scoot over and I come over behind the eyes. I really wanna tie this behind the eyes just because I wanna tie something in front of the eyes later and I don't wanna build that up right now locked in here two three pull tight you can see that spread out so that is now tight in the hook and we do have these stragglers and we can get most of them to come down one or two of them will end up trimming out but I've also found if I take and I come over the top of this and I build a thread dam over the top of where those are wanting to slide down. I can kind of trap them and keep them from sliding down. And then it just kind of keeps them ooh, hook sharp, keeps them flowing back. So go in here, trim this up. This is, this is why fly tying is messy right here. I figured that out after I started this. I have buck hair everywhere. And this is just to get rid of the very ends of the fibers. We had them all lined up. Had it all lined up and everything else is so nice and neat. And as you can see, hopefully in the back they are not in line and I just pulled pull that one out that one's a little bit under fur anyway so we have the bottom side there not worried about this sticking up because it's gonna it'll come down so you see we have the eyes and these are a little bit weighted 160th of an ounce 160th of an ounce don't forget that we're gonna come back to our bucktail Actually, before we do the bucktail, sorry. We're going to get our flashaboo. I couldn't get it back in and out of the package, so I just put it in a Ziploc bag. Nice, metallic, silvery. And I'm going to put quite a bit in here. I'm going to pull three strands. We're going to end up with six pieces in here. Is it three? Yeah, that's three. We're gonna end up with six pieces in here because I'm going to actually cut this in half so I don't cut off a bunch of it and not get used. So, take this, take this, I'm gonna come under my vice just so you guys can see. You be careful with it because it will crease. Keep it just like that, cut it in half. So now we have six. I'm gonna gather all those back up and I'm going to fold them over again. So we're gonna end up with 12, 12 of these in here. I'm gonna take 
the six, wrap it around the thread, and then pull it to the top of the fly. So as I come over, this is actually going to be on top between and this is about the hardest part of this right here. I don't want this hair in here. Cut that hair out. Okay, hold on. There's only one wrap in, so we're just going to redo it. Which is fine by me. Come in. Come around. Sometimes this stuff is hard to work with. Come up. Tie that couple loose wraps and then cinch it down, pull it tight. A couple more, cinch it down, pull it tight. So now you guys can see we got all this nice pretty streamer in here. Now we're gonna go to the bucktail. We're gonna take off, pinch more. And this is just a little pinch, you guys, just a itty bitty, itty itty bitty. Pull out whatever under fur and whatever loose ones we got in there. Come in. Cut that. And now this one, I'm going to continue to tie. This one's going to go behind the eye. Two wraps. Pull it tight. We got that little palm on the top. We're gonna come in, hold down our long pieces, and trim these short ones out. Pull a little tight. These are tight wraps in here. So now we kind of got our body pretty basic. As you guys can see, the eyes are still exposed and the hook eye. Now here's the last step. We're gonna get a very, very small amount, about a third of what that just was. We don't need a lot for this part. So very thin. And this one, we're not worried about squaring it up. We're gonna lay this over the top of the eyes where you can see hook eye and we're well beyond the hook eye. We're gonna come under the eyes, roll this over the eyes, and we're gonna get just a couple of wraps here. Pull it tight. And while continuing to hold that, we're gonna come back under the eyes, and we're gonna come behind the eyes and kind of pull this down. Pull that. Trim off the excess. And you want to do this without cutting your thread. Trust me, I've done just messing around, just trying to figure out how to do all this and I look like I belong in kindergarten with the way I'm using my scissors but my hands are actually pretty shaky for this um, come in here clean all this up so we can get to the hook eye because this fly does no good if you can't tie it on So we're gonna come back under the eye, and what I do, what I've kind of figured out, if I come over the top of the eye with my thread and then I just kind of pull it back, this thread's actually a fairly flat thread, so I can kind of open that up. And then I just end up with a couple little oddballs in there, I can just trap the rest of them. 
try to build that up a little bit. Now my hook eyes cleaned out. Come in here, we're gonna whip finish this. Do, 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 do. I think this is the hardest thing for me to figure out with whip finishing and figuring out how to use this tool, but five wrap whip finish. Ice back in. Pull this tight. Trim it and we're done. Now I'll go back in and I'll epoxy this one just to keep those threads in there. And you can see I've kind of got all this. And these are just little under furs that were still stuck in there, coming out. So we're not obstructing the hook any, by any means, we're just hiding the hook with this one. And then you've got lots and lots of flash. As it flows, Cut, come in here, trim some of this up, make it nice and neat. So, like this one we got right here, that's gonna bug me. Get out of there, you little bastard. There. So, there we go, you guys. Nice amount of flash inside. It looks crazy now. With my fingers here. Cleans it up a lot. So you have this nice, beautiful little streamer. Like I said, trim some of it up and you got a weighted streamer. <coughs> um, so this one, you guys, I have epoxied the head on this one. So we're going to do the same thing. I'll wet my fingers, five minute epoxy, just to kind of hold all that down. this and you guys you can do this with craft fur too I've kind of been debating on it I just wanted to try bucktail I've got some bigger jig heads I made tie some bucktail jigs actually there's some jig heads from iron grip tackle my buddy Ryan over there does phenomenal work by the way um, but yeah there's some jig heads I've got from him so Right now, you can see the back of the hook here. Hopefully, you can see the. Hold on. Get that out of here. So, you can see the back of the hook right back here. And we're going to trim off just a little bit beyond that hook. I don't want to square the ends up because then it's too boxy. It doesn't look natural. I want just a little bit of variance in there. And I've got these streamers that are way way back so we're just gonna knock those out kind of come in here clean up these stragglers is all i'm going to do to it it's not much cleanup work with it got these couple out here just these random 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 ones and you can see i've still got this down here but it's all gonna come back into here so Hopefully you guys aren't overexposed. It's just my wife's light. I just needed some extra light in here so I can see what I was doing. So there is the finished product of what we just did. This is the one we just did. This is the one that's finished. Not much difference, but you can see it cleans up a little bit better. I'll epoxy this one, we'll get it set out. So I have 10 minute fly, you guys. So Hopefully, I'm going to tip this up so I can, hopefully I'm in frame, you guys. Um, if you guys want to try this or you want to see more fly videos as I learn how to tie these flies, I'm sitting here, been binge-watching YouTube on different fly patterns and how to tie them. So, 
trying to learn, expand, figure some stuff out, figure out how to tie, how to do this and that. Um, but if you guys want to see more fly tying videos, or you have an idea or something you would like to see tie, whether it be a crappie jig or a bluegill fly, bass fly, pike flies, musky flies, we'll try them. Try and make one anyway. I don't know how it'll hold up, but we'll try it. So drop those in the comments down below what you guys would like to see. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, head over and subscribe and follow me over on Facebook and Instagram, you guys. And until next time, I'll see you out there.